I'm now going to install this rubber stop underneath this garage door. This actually came as part of a kit which I bought off eBay. I'm going to use that to seal the gap at the bottom of this door. A big problem with this garage door is because there's such a large gap underneath it, you often get leaves blowing in, you get water blowing in and snow. Hopefully this seal will stop all that from happening. Before you put a seal like this down, it's a good idea to make sure you do it when the actual floor is dry where you're going to be putting the seal down. I'd just like to point out that this is an electronic door so it opens automatically. The other day I tried fitting an actual rubber seal to the door itself that actually caused the door to jam. So I've took that off and we're now going to install this instead which should be better. And if you look under the door you can see that there is a considerable gap. The seal is that kind of shape that thin part there is designed to go underneath the door. I'm now just going to run this out along the full width of the door. I should also point out that I have actually swept the area so it is nice and clean. You can't actually push the door seal in position because it's actually too wide for the actual door. That means that we need to notch out this part here. So I'm just going to cut that part out using the Stanley knife. So I've now cut out that side which fits perfectly around there. So I can now make sure that the door seal is flush all the way along and I can go and cut out at the other side. Now we've got the sealing strip in position I'm now going to draw a line using a permanent marker on this side of the seal. Now I've done that, I am now going to open the door again. I'm now going to go on the outside and I'm going to draw a line on the outside. We now know that when we remove the seal, exactly where to put the sealant that's going to hold the seal in position. To stick the strip down, we're going to be using Sudaflex 40FC. I'm now just going to remove the rubber strip. And now I can apply the adhesive in between the two lines. I'm going to start off by applying a full bead all the way down the back of the rubber strip. If you come to a bit like that that's a little bit hollow it's a good idea to put some extra adhesive in them places. I'm now going to place another continuous bead along the front. Now I've done that, I am now going to do a zigzag bead in between the two lines. So we've now got two continuous beads and we've also got a zigzag pattern going in between all the way along the front of the garage. I'm now going to carefully pick up the seal and I'm going to position that on top of the sealant and shoe in that it goes in between the lines that we marked earlier.
Once we've got it in the exact right position, we can then press down on the seal so that the silicone actually grabs it and holds it in that position. Once it's firmly pushed down and in position, you can then close the garage door. As you can see, that gives us a perfect seal. That will hopefully stop any rain, snow or leaves from blowing into the garage.